building something. I don't even know if she's cheating. What's her son? Scorpio. Oh yeah, she cheating. What? Coming off of episode three of The Shy, season three, it leaves us with more questions than we have answers. What is gonna be the direction Ronnie is gonna go in? Who is this new mystery guy that Jada is dating? Well, we got the trailer review where we slow it down, break it down, review the clip by clip. We're gonna do it right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Be sure to do that step because YouTube has been turning notifications off and it's important that you have those on. I will be going live tonight with Larry at 9 p.m. to kind of review The Shy Season 3. And also follow me next week as me and my wife are going to have the baby and I will be dropping the baby content. Let's go through the rest of the trailer, then break it down. Hey, baby. Long time no see. I just want this to be over. We're all in this together. This is our city. I might have some information on Keisha. In the very first scene, we see Dre um, having a nightmare that Keisha is outside getting hit by a car. And you see Dre gets up from there in a cold sweat. Um, where is Kevin's mom? Do they not live together yet? Somebody leave me a comment and let me know. Then we see old trap sister Tiff giving her baby daddy M a kiss as she's leaving. Then the very next scene, fellas, we know what that look is all about. That's the look of either you yeah, faded on some weed or that's the look of I'm gonna give you them panty draws. And sure enough, then we see Spike or head here looking at her like, okay, when you gonna give it to me? Is this gonna be a big issue? We've all been discussing what is gonna be Tiff's storyline. Maybe this is gonna be the dude that's gonna try to get her into the music industry because from the trailer in the summertime, we knew or we had heard that Emmett wanted to be her manager. So maybe this cat is gonna try to be the manager, but leave me a comment you think they're gonna smash. Then we see Emmett talking to his daddy, getting some of that daddy wisdom, asking if he thinks Tiff is smashing. And the daddy said, what's her sign? Emmett said, tells what the sign is. And dad's like, oh yeah, <laughs> she definitely smashing. Which ladies and gentlemen may or may not be true. We don't know that yet. And then the very next clip, we finally get to see my girl from Escape, Candy Burris, pops in on the scene with her assistant rolling up on Duda, and I guess they're gonna start to explain Duda's story now, because we haven't seen too much of him this whole season, and whatever the backstory is on Candy. Now, y'all that don't like her, y'all that's still holding on to the Biggie line, Biggie Smalls line of, you know, them ugly ass escape bitches, blah, blah, blah. I've asked y'all who do y'all think she's gonna have the sex scene with. You've all said y'all think it's gonna be Lena Waithe or a woman. Post me your comments if you're still rolling with that theory. And then we see Kev and his mom just together, just sad. And, and might not say, that mom is playing the hell out of this role of being sad, um, being distraught. I mean, she is playing this role. You see her talking to Dre, which I guess is at Dre's house. But look at that picture of Obama in the background. Boy, you know this is a Chicago story. Then this is the... I guess the climax of this trailer for me, Kev, who is having to grow up, become a man quick, is getting ready to unleash a right hand from hell on whoever this cat is. Comment below if y'all know who this guy is because I tried to slow this thing down, get a picture of his face and I was not able to get it. All you see is him on the ground from that Kevin who might have a boxing career in his future the way he decked this brother. It's down there, you see his homeboy trying to help him get up. There's a better look at it. I can't tell who it is, but for you guys who know these, know this show and know these trailers, let me know who you think it is. And you see the fellas holding Kevin back because he wasn't done with that ass whipping he was trying to give. He was trying to deliver punishment. Then we get our first shot of Lena Waithe delivering a sermon like only she can deliver. And apparently she's delivering this sermon at Papa's daddy's church. They show a clip of Papa standing there clapping and we know that Papa has huge ties to his religion, obviously because of his daddy. And then the second most important part of this trailer for me is we see Ronnie and I will no longer call him Rusty. 
It looks like he is uh, maybe at a dumpster, maybe at that place that he works at collecting cans because you see the gloves. And you see him holding something. What is this? Is this a piece of a pocketbook, ladies and gentlemen? Comment below on what you think this is, but obviously this is some kind of clue he thinks to where Keisha is located. Then you see him busting into somebody's house. Whose crib is this? Is this the home of the white guy that we saw walk away and Ronnie followed at the end of this last episode? Very next clip, we see him show up to, I think this is Dre, her crib. She's holding the baseball bat. He said, I got information that you might can use to find Keisha. And the question is, is she gonna let him in the house? How in the world did he find out where she lives at and what is going to be the storyline going between Dre and Ronnie? Is there going to be a trust between these two? Is there going to be any cohesive unit with these two going on? If you ask me, I still believe Keisha is dead and gone. It's just a matter of time before they let that storyline come out. I hope she's not. I would love to see her come back, but I'm thinking she's gone. That's what I'm hearing on the tea leaves. But leave me all your comments. Anything you think I missed in this trailer, it's up to you to let me know. So post it in the comment section. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself a life game. I will be putting out a little bit more content this week while I'm at the hospital with the wife. Probably won't be anything about the shy, more so of what I'm doing financially with stocks and real estate. Something very, very quick that I can do from the hospital. And we'll be getting baby content up as of next week, quickly as I can, let you guys know everything went well. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.